Thank you for joining us again here at HockeyUs.com. Uh, one of the skates we're going to be reviewing for you today is the uh, Bauer Vapor 25. Uh, this skate is a uh, mid-price point skate. It's been out on the market now for about two years. Uh, first thing that we're going to start off with is the uh, boot construction. It's made out of a nylon uh, basket weave. Bauer calls it bas basket weave construction. And um, basically, uh, uh, it's, it's nylon, basically almost like a ballistic nylon uh, that's on the inside of there. And if you look, they do what they call an X-weave uh, pattern on here, or an X-pattern. If you look at the back of the skate, you're going to see the X here. And what that does is that helps out with uh, forward flex and also helps. Uh, there's, uh, I don't know if you can really see it. I'll go a little closer here. These are little rib patterns that they have in here, and that gives you uh, support inside the boot itself by having those, those raised ribs. On the inside, uh, they call this a grip liner, uh, this little felt material here. Uh, not in previous um, uh, models that they had, uh, like in the Bauer Vapor 20, used to have a true grip liner, which was pretty much the same material that the uh, footbed on the inside is made out of. Uh, that's called an Insta, Insta Dry foot, uh, Grip Footbed Liner, uh, which they're still using inside of the skate here. Uh, comes in a two piece put out this way. Two piece felt tongue which means um, basically they make a left and a right to the tongue, uh, seam it back together and then they put an insert, plastic insert here to help you with lace bite. Again they went with the anatomical form toe cap. If you look here you can actually see how it uh, would be shaped like a, uh, like a foot, your big toe and everything. It's really nice because it gives you a little bit more toe room uh, as far as width and also height uh, with the skate. Uh, the blade that they used on here, again it was pretty much incorporated through a lot of Bowers line is the Tuke light speed too. Uh, and this is a, a really nice blade. It's nice, lightweight, very accessible through a screw that goes or a bolt that goes in through the back of the skate back here. And um, you know, more or less a few turns of the wrench, blade pops out and back on. You can uh, get the skate uh, on and off the ice with a new blade on it within five minutes being sharpened and all. Um, this is a really nice package that they put on here. They put a little plastic piece or I should say a rubber piece on here to help with, uh, with some of the uh, I guess skate cuts and also with abrasion wear and all that, that kind of stuff. Uh, this skate is not a super light skate. Again, it's a mid-weight skate. Uh, it's full, fully um, heat moldable and um, this is the Bauer Vapor 25. Uh, and again, I think uh, coming up in the near future you're going to see the Nike symbol coming off a lot of the products because Bauer was, uh, was sold out to a private individual. So I believe within the next year or so that change would be strictly just Bauer, not Nike Bauer. Uh, so just we're going to review this here for you now. The boot structure this, since this is one of Bauer's um, mid-level skates and uh, it's made off a two-piece last which is kind of like their traditional uh, skates have been made uh, in the past years. I'm going to give this as far as boot structure a five because it's still keeping with Bauer's tradition. Uh, comfort, I'm going to give it a four. It is a real nice lightweight comfortable um, skate. Uh, again, durability, I'm going to give it another four. This basket weave um, material that they have made out of this, uh, you know, besides it looking a little on the dirty side, it has held up very, very well as far as skate cuts and abrasions. Performance will give it another five. We've had a few people that have worn these skates for the last couple of years and uh, and uh, more or less uh, have never had anything wrong with them. Uh, the holder, five. I think Bauer kind of holds the market. Uh, everybody wants light speed uh, two holders on their skates. Uh, visual looks, we'll give it a four. I think they could dress it up a little bit more and make it look like the Vapor 30, which sold really, really well. And then uh, weight, I'm going to give it a three because it's not the lightest skate on the market. Again, we, uh, we'd ask you to go to our, our website, HockeyUs.com, become a member, and uh, help us with your input on the skate uh, or any of the products that we have located on there. And uh, this way you can help us rate, um, you know, rate most of our products. Again, thank you for joining us here at HockeyUs.com.